Greetings and welcome to this Tomorrow's World video commentary. If you are a teen, do you want to be a real Christian? In a world filled with fakes and imposters, do you want to be a man or woman of truth? That's the challenge for teenagers in the world today. Ken DeCreasy Dean, a professor at Princeton Theological Seminary, spent several summers interviewing thousands of American teenagers about their religion and their beliefs. The report, written up on a CNN website article, is detailed in her book, Almost Christian. It's a stark warning for parents and clergy and a challenge for you teens who would like to be a part of real Christianity. According to the author, more teenagers than ever are embracing a watered-down Christianity. Many just see God only as an encourager or a divine therapist. They have difficulty expressing their convictions or beliefs in a straightforward manner. Now, we know not all teens are like this. I know of many young people who are convicted and serious about their beliefs. Many are willing to make sacrifices for them. I hope you are. Many are making tough and right decisions for their future right now. But sadly, in too many cases, teens are just turned off. For some, their church has a vague and incoherent message about God and what He expects. Some of you may have gotten the signal that doctrine and teaching from the Bible are not important and that sin is just a vague concept, that at the end of the day, God just wants us all to be nice. But you know, that's not really what the Bible says. There is a real Christianity. It's just that the vast majority of those who call themselves Christians don't practice it or don't even know what it is. There is a real way of life that has answers you need, and it doesn't shy away from the real issues facing you today. But why is it that so many people have no idea what the real truth is? Why are so many lost in a world of fake Christians and false Christianity? The problem is that most people and most teens do not really want to do what God says in the Bible. If you are a teenager or a young person, don't you want the truth? Don't you want to really understand how to have good relationships? Don't you want to know how to prepare for a happy marriage and a strong family? It all starts with actually doing what this book says. Jesus Christ is the only name by which men may be saved. That's found in Acts 4.12. The problem is that most people and most teens don't know the real Jesus Christ of the Bible. But you need to find out for yourself. Read the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Find out what Christ actually said and what He did. Discover what He said about God's law and our commandments and our responsibility as disciples and true Christians. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, he said this, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. And yet some churches teach that Christ's mercy somehow dissolves our responsibility to keep the commandments. They often ignore or water down one commandment or another, such as the fourth commandment, to observe the seven-day Sabbath. But what does the Bible say? Read it for yourself. Jesus said that not everyone would accept his sayings, but that those who did would have to sacrifice and go against the crowd to really please him. Look at what he said in Matthew 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that takes not his cross and follows after me is not worthy of me. The true Christian faith is not an empty shell. It's challenging and exhilarating. It demands sacrifice. It demands that you stand against the crowd. But wouldn't you rather live for something than to just go along with a false belief and false hopes? If you want real answers for your life, read this book. Don't just assume and don't just take our word for it. Read it for yourself. Again, from the article, More Teens Becoming Fake Christians on the CNN website says this, 
Though three out of four American teenagers claim to be Christian, fewer than half practice their faith, only half deem it important, and most can't talk coherently about their beliefs. Many teenagers thought that God simply wanted them to feel good and do good, what the study's researchers called moralistic therapeutic deism. Teens, this doesn't have to be you. If you want answers, read this book. And if you would like help in understanding the purpose for your life, you can request or download our free booklet, Your Ultimate Destiny. It's absolutely free, like everything else we offer on the Tomorrow's World website. We want you to have it so you can discover the life that God is offering you if you have the vision to really go for it. This is Rod McNair for Tomorrow's World Video Commentary.